Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Jessica from The Waldock Way. In today's video, we are going to be talking about what we're using for our first grade curriculum. Now, before I show you what we're using, I wanna explain one thing. We are what I like to call curriculum dabblers. We do not use any curriculum from start to finish exactly how it is written or laid out. Most of the time we use our curriculum more as resources and support for what we are interested in and what we want to learn. So when you see what we'll be using for first grade, please don't be overwhelmed or think that we're gonna be using all of it exactly how it's meant to be used. All right, the first part of our first grade curriculum that I'm gonna show you are these adorable little fun schooling journals. So we have the littlest math book, all about animals, the littlest kindergarten book, and teach your child 100 words to read, write, spell, and draw. As you can see, these are tiny and they are the perfect size for traveling and we drive a lot. So these will be in our arsenal for car schooling. All right, so our main um, language arts curriculum is going to be The Good and the Beautiful. So we have the level one mini books, the level one reader, in the course book. The Good and the Beautiful language arts includes phonics, reading, spelling, writing, literature, grammar and punctuation, and art appreciation. Now we actually do some art appreciation in our morning basket and I have some fun additives to put in with this um, in case she wants to do them. But this will be the one thing that we will try to get all the way through this year. So in addition to the Good and the Beautiful, we have Explode the Code. Emily has been doing Explode the Code since the beginning. She did the um, Get Ready, Set, and Go, A, B, and C, and then um, 1 and 2. Well, she's almost done with 2. She has, I think, like 5 pages left. But anyway, so she'll be finishing up 2 and then starting 3. This is not something I plan. It's not something I require. It is something that she can do independently and something she enjoys to do. So she will... Um, pull it out and do it whenever she sees fit. It's not something that I push or force and if she doesn't get through this it will not be a big deal at all. For writing I do um, I love and respect Julie Bogart and the Brave Writer lifestyle so when I say that we will be writing stories this year I mean she will be creating stories and I will be scribing them for her because I believe that at her age she can create much more vivid stories than what her hand is able to write. So this is going to be her um, basically writer's notebook or journal. She'll get to decorate it however she wants on the first day of school. And we will do stories in it all year. So we'll do our, um, if she writes a poem during poetry tea time or free writes on Fridays or whatever story she comes up with, it will go in here. Now I did purchase these rolls and story on Teachers Pay Teachers. And they are adorable. Now they're full pages and I printed them four to a page so that they would fit in this little box. And I have a dice in here. And so it will help her also remember the elements of a story because you roll for a character, a setting, and a problem. And they're seasonal and just um, all kinds of wonderful different ones to pick from. So that if she gets stumped or needs some help with an idea, these will be great writing prompts for her writing journal for the year. The last component, I guess I would say, for our language arts is called hands-on grammar. Um, I got this off of Teachers Pay Teachers too, and I have like 10 of these big Ziploc bags. So for all the different parts of speech, as well as all the different punctuation and um, homophones and antonyms and synonyms and really any language arts concept you can think of, she has different things. So these are sorting cards. You sort these into person, place, or thing. These are clip cards. You would clip whether it's a noun or not a noun. There's also a board game that comes with each one as well as other components and some worksheets. So I got all of the hands-on um, components I thought Emily would like and printed and put them in these Ziploc bags. And we will do them as she needs either extra help with a concept or she just is up for um, some more hands-on things than book work, we will do this instead of maybe some of the worksheets and the good and the beautiful. All right, for math, we are going to be using Life of Fred. We have tried Matthew C, Horizons, Math Mammoth, Math for a Living Education, 
and mathematical reasoning. And Life of Fred is the only thing that she enjoys. And it is, for whatever reason, the only thing that sticks. So we did apples last year. We will repeat apples this year. And then hopefully we will get through butterflies and cats. There's no time limit, though. If we only get through apples and butterflies, that's fine. But I also have um, all the way to jelly beans, which is the entire elementary set. So if we get further or we go further, I have them for that if we need to. Another fun thing I have for math is the Moffat Girls Math Made Fun um, math unit. So this is the first grade. This is just unit one, which is numbers to 120. There are nine units, and it goes over numbers to 120, addition, subtraction, uh, fractions, geometry, graphs, data, time, money, basically all of the normal concepts you would see, I guess, in first grade. This is the pre-assessment, the lesson plans, and the post-assessment. Again, like I said, we don't follow um, everything start to finish. Mainly, I got this for the hands-on aspect. So we probably will only do the worksheets if she asks for them. Uh, we definitely will not be doing all of them, and I for sure will not follow this exactly as it is designed to be followed. We will be doing the things that I think she needs reinforcement on. This is mine. It's a wooden 100s board that I threw in here. But this is the kind of thing that is in here and why I wanted this curriculum. So it's fun. And she has recording sheets um, right here. And so you would just record this face is what number or this uh, present is what number. And so it helps them with their numbers. There's also hundreds puzzles in here. So you put the hundreds board back together. There are some fun printables. Um, and I did print some of them. So we have the number sleuth. So you have to start at 76 and jump forward 10 and color it red. And there's a couple different ones like that. There's number order with teddy bears. There's skip counting. And then there's some cut and paste ordinal numbers even and odd. And then I put some things that I found in the Target dollar spot that happened to also go along with numbers in here. But I have one of these boxes for each of the nine units and uh, I will just be pulling them out. I'm hoping to maybe do one a month so that we're getting through um, all of the concepts in a nine month period. For all of our other subjects, we prefer a unit study style of learning. We like to deep dive into a topic. And normally I try to ask Emily what she wants to learn. So when I asked her what she wanted to learn this year to get some ideas, the only thing she told me was Jack and Annie Magic Treehouse School. So I spent all summer designing Passport to Adventures. I will link it down below because it is available for sale. This basically turns all of the Magic Treehouse books into a week long unit study each. So we will spend a week diving in to each of the main topics as we read the corresponding Magic Treehouse book. So that is going to be our geography, history, science, and it also includes some art and handwriting as well. For nature, we will be doing exploring nature with children. Now this will actually be in our morning basket. So it will not um, be like something we do every day. It'll just be part of our morning routine, but we will be doing exploring nature with children for nature study. And we will also be using our Florida State Parks. We are annual pass holders and we'll be using the Junior Ranger program. This will be part of her 4-H project this year. She's doing a state of the floor, our Florida State Environmental Project. So we will be doing all of the different um, Junior Ranger activities. And then at the end of the year, this, along with some extra paperwork, will turn into her 4-H project for this school year. Art might be Emily's favorite thing ever in the whole world. And this is a lot of art supplement stuff. Our main art curriculum for this year, I do not have pictured because it is video based and it is chalk pastel. You are an artist. We are clubhouse members. So that will be the main thing that we will be using this year. However, Emily would be happy doing art all day, every day. So I have a lot of extra things just in case. This is the Usborne Art Treasury and I love it because it is very simple, but it gives you a famous painting about the painting, about the artist, and then it tells you how to recreate it in your own way. So this is something that we will have on hand or when she wants something a little extra to do in the art department. 
We also have the Creative Arts and Crafts Project from The Good and the Beautiful. To me, this is a little bit more crafty than um, art, which she loves. It's just another aspect. So there are some really fun crafts in here that go along very well with the different seasons. So this will be something that we will do again when she asks for extra art. And the last thing I have for art is kind of a win-win because it is art for her and a little bit of handwriting for me. Don't tell her that. So we have all eight of these Draw Right Now books. We love them. We've done them. We've done different ones numerous times. So in about eight steps, it tells you how to draw a picture. And then it gives you four short sentences of copy work. So like I said, it's a win-win. She gets to do some drawing. I get a little bit of extra handwriting practice. Everybody is happy. For health, we will be using the Discover My Plate Nutrition for Education, Nutrition Education for Kindergartners, sorry. We actually had this last year and didn't get through it. So this is mainly the food groups and it talks about some exercise and how to stay healthy. Um, now I've had this for two years and haven't used it. So I do have a physical copy, but I have been told, and from what I can see on the website, now this is available as a printable, but it is free. So printable is still better than having to pay for a curriculum. We will be using the good and the beautiful for safety. This covers every topic I could think of. It has, um, fire safety, water and electricity safety, Earthquakes and national, natural disasters, which we will be adding a lot of hurricanes to that. We live in Florida, so hurricanes are much more likely than most, many of the other natural disasters. We actually had to evacuate twice last year, so we will be using this lesson to get our prepared evacuation, all of that good stuff in order. God gave me a body, so that is about a body safety home alone safety, kitchen and cooking, and internet and peer pressure. So it covers all of the safety topics that we should be teaching our kids. The last thing I have is Spanish. Now, I don't speak Spanish. My husband doesn't speak Spanish. Emily doesn't know very much Spanish. But I'm hoping that uh, maybe we can all learn a little bit. So I picked up the Spanish puzzles and workbook from the Target Dollar Spot. And I also bought the Spanish flashcards from Kindergarten Toolkit. These are absolutely gorgeous. And it has the um, picture or the word on the front and then Spanish on the back. And it has colors and shapes, numbers 1 through 20, days of the week, and then months of the year. So these are the things that we will be using to learn Spanish, hopefully. All right, there you have it. That's all of the curriculum resources we will be using for first grade. Emily will be taking part in 4-H gymnastics and a wild and free group for extracurricular activities. And we will be including as much morning basket, strewing, and game schooling as possible into our days. But these are the main curriculum resources that we will be using this year. Let me know down in the comments if you're using anything the same as us. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you'd like to see more like it.